Welcome in, along with Sam Monson. I'm Steve Palazzolo. Today, just sitting in front of Premium Stats 2.0. It's all part of your PFF Elite Package. And we're just going to show you how awesome this is. This is the very best product that we have here at PFF and show you just uh, some of the ways that you guys can use this. Yeah, a lot of questions as we head into the 2018 season. I think one of the biggest is Jalen Ramsey. Outstanding year two. Can he take the next step forward, become this Darrell Rivas kind of player? Darrell Rivas just retired. The crown is open. Can Jalen Ramsey become that player? Yeah, we've debated this a little bit this offseason. Jalen Ramsey, Marshawn Lattimore, Casey Hayward. There's a few good cornerbacks in the NFL, but maybe not a guy that is just head and shoulders above the rest. But let's break down Jalen Ramsey because he could be the guy, especially here heading into year three. So we're sitting here on Jalen Ramsey's player page. And again, what you see with the page, we've got defensive grades, run defense grades, tackling, and of course, coverage grades for cornerbacks. This is his game-by-game -game breakdown from last season, and we're just going to go through some of the interesting numbers that came up in the 2017 season. Yeah, so obviously you can see the breakdown game-by-game -game here, some outstanding grades, really no bad when you look at his overall defensive grade. There's no rough game in there. The closest he came, when you look at it, there's a couple of rough outings, only 200-yard games, both of which came against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Down there, Steve. Oh, there they are. There you go. Right there, Steelers. Both of which came against the Pittsburgh Steelers. The first one, though, I think was still a win for Jalen Ramsey. 12 targets heading his way, gave up five receptions, but he had three pass breakups, one interception off Ben Roethlisberger, an incredible diving catch on that, a completion per percentage given up in the 40s, a passer rating given up in the 30s. Those are still outstanding coverage numbers. I would say that's still a win for Jalen Ramsey. The one in the playoffs, though, was a bit more of a question mark, I think. Well, yeah, the playoff game was just a huge shootout, probably the worst game that the Jaguars defense played right up there with that 49ers game late in the season. Uh, so they did give up, you know, a whole lot of yards. Let's get into that game because we've got that pulled up as well. So this is the other part of premium stats. The play-by-play -play or the game-by-game -game breakdown here, we can see this is all of divisional weekend. Jaguar Steelers 45-42 victory. So we dive into that game. We can go to coverage stats by against receivers. We can scroll up here. Let's find Jalen Ramsey. There, there he is. is. Get it over there, Sam. Jalen Ramsey's coverage numbers against the receivers that he faced in that game. And really it wasn't all Antonio Brown. Gave up 38 yards to Antonio Brown on three targets. There were a couple of big plays in there, though, to other receivers. Martavis Bryant, Le'Veon Bell got him for one as well. But really, in a 45-42 game, giving up 100 yards isn't the worst thing in the world. There were a lot of big plays in that game. Um, so I think Jalen Ramsey, again, did okay. Yeah, so he did fine. And I think when you look at the total package of the entire season, we can get to the uh, season breakdown when, it looks at, when we look at all corners and see where Jalen Ramsey landed. The key here, when you guys are going through... The player pages, we have a defensive summary page. So here we go, I click, click on cornerbacks, and then you guys can change the filters. This is one of my favorite new things. We have all 17 regular season weeks, but let's add the postseason into the mix. And there he is, Jalen Ramsey sitting there with a 91.3 defense grade, 91.6 coverage grade, of course. Click on him and you can get back to that player page. Scroll over here and you can see the numbers that go, to, that go with it. 57 receptions on 106 targets. I think that's one of my favorite things about this. When Revis' great 2009 season, he was targeted a ton. So there's a big sample size of good performance. Ramsey had a lot of targets to perform well last season. Yeah, when you include the playoffs, significantly more targets than the guys behind him. Like 30 more targets in Casey Hayward. That's a lot of extra plays, a lot of extra chances to be exposed. And, and Ramsey really wasn't. You know, Antonio Brown, the Pittsburgh Steelers got him a bit last season. But that's the best wide receiver in the game. To be able to hold your own against the best wide receiver in the game, doing pretty well. So there you have it, in-depth breakdown on Jalen Ramsey. It's all part of Premium Stats 2.0, all part of your PFF Elite Package. Let us know below, is Jalen Ramsey the best corner in the NFL heading into 2018? Let us know, and be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel.